Gregorian, what does it mean today to think about links and connections, okay, in, uh, in a city in which the center represents so few, so few of the city, and the rest represent the largest part of the city. What does it mean to rethink today about connections and links? Uh, I think that Moscow is a very, very uh, unique city because of the, the past, because of that small part of this uh, historical uh, center there, and also uh, because of the uh, because of the form, because of the shape of the city. It's it's the one of the uh, I I never seen it be, uh, anywhere else. This shape, it's a round city, and the size it's it's huge. And this, it matters for the city because uh, this 7% of uh, territory uh, consists of 40% of working places. That's why this traffic jam and all the environment is, is incredibly uh, bad now. And for us it is the real task what to do with the city, to find all the new identity. And these micro also matters because uh, they are public. No, all the ground is public. I uh, just want to ask you which kind of tensions there can still stay between the center and the productive and working and industrial areas, you know? Which kind of uh, transportation, which kind of uh, public services can, can be thought in, uh, in new times about that? I think uh, we need a totally new concept of public transportation in Moscow because Moscow, of course, have a unique metro. Uh, metro underground. Underground is unique. It, uh, it's uh, huge and nice in the center. Of course, it's the Stalin design, the stations and all the architecture. But at the same time, the distance between stations is uh, three kilometers sometimes, sorry, two kilometers. Uh, and it's difficult because the previous concept was to use the bus between the stations. It's not like in Paris when the distance or London, the distance is, I don't know, half a kilometer or less. And uh, it's very deep, the underground is very deep. That's why now they are fighting for a new type of transportation. Also climate matters, because it's not possible to use bikes ah. during the, the, because we have winter, you know, we have yeah. plus 40, minus 40 climate. Yeah, must be hard. No? Yes, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. For bicycle it's hard, <laughs> and for pedestrian also hard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, b because the, the, it's the surface is sleepy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's it also matters Most a lot of problems. Yeah, the, the, people, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. The, that's why the, the transportation problem. Uh, maybe we could decide this moving uh, these working places outside of Moscow. Uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. this is the decision, but it's it's it need to be uh, conceptualized somehow, yeah. and uh, we need to rethink uh, the whole th the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, just one one last question. It's about uh, which is the influence of uh, political decisions and political issues about the new urbanization in Moscow and in Russian cities in general. Now in Moscow or uh, anyway, new times because there is a new mayor. The whole construction in the center of the city is prohibited totally. This seven percent is now uh, closed for architects. And before all of the buildings was constructed there. It's also, it's also interesting. And uh, now they start to open parks. Now we are helping the Gorky Park, the, the biggest park yeah, in the center of the city. Now it's open uh, because before it was paid. And now the next step, I think, it's for federal government uh, to open the Kremlin because the, the old fortress is the part of the city and it was. And now we have only uh, 10 years that it's uh, paid to enter this. Yeah. And I think the new, new uh, architecture is the politics, you know, it's, it's, re it's really, it's not the uh, drawing and 3D making, it's, it's the really politics and thinking. I think, think about a possible future. Yes, of course, of course, and uh, I think the access, free access for Moscow is important. After this, yes, access to the parks, because parks are not considered uh, in the government like public spaces because they belong to special government organizations. Oh. And uh, all of these parks are fenced. All of them. All of them? All of them, yes. Oh. And now we are talking about open doors. <laughs> oh, just open doors in all of the city just to, I don't know, the whole day and night. Yeah. Also in the night. 
Oh, yes, it's a bit like you know, Central Park in New York. It's open, and now it's safe. Uh, 20 years ago, it was not. Well, yeah, it was not. Now it's safe. I think this uh, the the climate, uh, social climate in the city. Now it's maybe uh, we have a chance to do it better now, and it, it matters. I think. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Ciao. Thank you.